Hey guys, it's Randomizer again. We did some AMVs last month. We'll be trying our hand at some tutorials. Um, let me say first of all, um, what I'll be doing now. This is only for non-Steam users. This was a repack done by NoSteam. Um, we'll be getting into it. Also, the software I'm using to record this is Bandicam. I think it's a very excellent software. Um, I had updated my Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 game from version 1.01, .01, I believe, to version 1.14. Um, let's get into it. You're going to new folder. Well, this is where I keep mine. You'll know where you keep your Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 game. Um, go to NOS Team Storage, NOS Team Remote, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Copy, copy. Control C, easy copy. I mean, it's very easy. Um, games, go back to games or wherever you keep your your files. Now, before I head into this, let me tell you, you do not want to copy and paste your save game into the updated version as yet. You want to run this version first. You want to run the version. It will ask you if you want to recover save files. You will say no. You will make your own save file. And by then, when you see that auto save signal that the game always gives, you know that you can head out of the game. And when you go into the NOS Steam storage, there will be a save file in remote. This save file in the remote will be about 707 kilobytes. Or however that is. Um, this is 490 this is the finished thing that I pasted, but what you will have in here is the new one that the game just created. You're going to delete that, and then you're going to paste the old one into this. And when you start your game, it will work. It will go, and you will have all your progress that you've made. Thank you guys for the support. Um, I really appreciate it, guys. And... Give me some tips in the comment section. Thanks.